Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just hanging out here on my deck after another uh, Saturday market haul. I'm going to show you guys uh, all that. First, I'm just going to show you a few herbs that I got sprouting up here. Uh, for the winter, I got uh, some marjoram in here. Uh, with look, looks like an apple tree sprout in the middle. I'll be getting that out and putting another pot. I got some thyme here that's been growing for a while. Here's uh, some basil starting with, with a few chives and another apple tree here on the side. Um, then I got some parsley going here. Um, I got uh, some radish sprouts coming up in here with some dill and chives. I'm probably going to pick the radish sprouts so those herbs can grow better. Then I got another two pots of dill. And then uh, over in here I got some cilantro going with a few clover. And then uh, this is all supposed to be oregano and thyme. I'm, I think these are actually radish sprouting up. But if you look down here, I think this is either thyme or oregano. And down here, actually that's probably thyme. Those tiny little sprouts there. Over here I got... Uh, Big thing of dill and cilantro. There's radish seeds everywhere. I had some radish sprouting seeds and they got into my soil, so they're coming up everywhere. But I'm just gonna put the sprouts in my salad. Then we got some uh, basil and some parsley growing really well there. I got this dill that's going to seed. I got an apple tree that's doing fairly well here. I'll probably change them, put them in another pot so you can do better. So here's my market haul. I got a uh, two ears of corn. I got all of these uh, seeded sunflowers. Um, this one is massive. Um, these, they have hauls on them this time, so I'm going to have to haul them. Um, then I got all of these uh, onions here. I got some yellow onions and a red onion, as well as, the, as, well as this uh, potato squash that I'm going to try for the first time. I'll see if I can make a dip out of it and eat it raw. If not, I'll probably just give it to my parents. I got a giant pile of cucumbers here. I got some English cucumbers and then uh, all kinds of varieties of cucumbers here. There's at least two or three varieties in there. Over here I got uh, some more melons from uh, the Mennonites. I was really happy that they had more watermelons because, I mean, I wasn't expecting it this late in the season, after the frost especially. Then over here we got three bags of heirloom carrots, a bunch of purple ones in here, and, you know, there's a good variety in all the bags. Here I got uh, two uh, bunches of green onions, and then I got a bunch of sprouting broccoli that I'm probably going to eat with some dip. I really like making, like, a nut dip with, like, lemon juice and uh, garlic and eating broccoli with that. I got um, a bunch of beef stick tomatoes here again from the Mennonites. Then I got uh, some cherry tomatoes of a few varieties. I got like some red, orange, and some yellow ones from uh, Spring Hill Farms. Then I got my giant pile of heirloom tomatoes. Of course, you can see there's a lot of different kinds. I got some of like these longer, pointier ones. I think they were called alpaca or something like that. Um, I got these ones that look kind of like lemons. They're pretty neat. I've never tried them before. We'll see how they taste. I got some of these, uh, I think they're called uh, black plum tomatoes if I'm not mistaken. I'll try to figure out the names but it's <laughs> there's like 500 kinds of heirloom tomatoes so it's pretty tough. These guys uh, got a bit of yellow on them. Got these ones that look kind of like pears down here, plums. Um, I got some big yellow ones. I got these guys with the green top and they're fairly dark. I got these long orange ones again. I actually Really like the taste of them and the texture, so I got quite a few. I got more golden bison. They're uh, sweet, kind of like mild flavor. Really good. These guys are pretty good as well. I got some more of them. They they do spoil a bit quick, but I'm going to try and eat them as fast as possible. Oh, Then down here I got all these tomatoes. There's a few from last week and uh, some from this week that have soft spots on them, and I feel like they're going to go bad, so I'm going to put them on my next salad. Um, I got these massive tomatoes. They were two fifty for these huge ones. Um, Got a big white one here, and uh, it was like a dollar for these slightly smaller ones. I got some uh, ground cherries uh, sitting there that are about to spoil, so I'm going to be putting those in my next salad. I also bought 20 baskets of ground cherries from Field Good Farms. Um, yeah, it was like the last of the season, so I figured I'd go all out. Ground cherries are delicious. You guys have to try them. I got a bunch of dried herbs here. I got two bags of cinnamon as well as two bags of curry powder, uh, two bags of herb de Provence, I got some peppermint tea, uh, chamomile tea, three bags of lavender, and uh, three bags of nettle leaf. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to be using to make a uh, shampoo. And then I also went to the grocery store afterwards. I got uh, three uh, bags of fresh turmeric and I needed some lemons, which is why I went originally. Um, the turmeric was supposed to be like three bucks a bag and they charged me four bucks a bag. So. Uh, 
I told them that they needed to go check the price and give me a free bag of turmeric, and uh, they did, because that's a law in Ontario if you get overcharged on a ticketed produce item or a ticket of item in, in any store, I'm pretty sure they need to give it to you for free if it's under 10 bucks. I got some uh, sunflowers here uh, from the last market that I'm going to take the seeds out and soak them in here. I just I just gave it a start already. I got my dried bowl leets from uh, the last video that I put in my dehydrator. They actually dried out really quick. So I'm going to save those up for the winter. Down here I got some more tomatoes from last weekend that I'm going to go through and make sure there's none of them that's going bad. And if there are, then I'm going to eat them in my next salad. And same thing with all of these tomatillos and these ground cherries from last week. Just going to go through them. And then I washed up quite a few wild apples for lunch. It's uh, about 1.30 right now. It'll be my first meal of the day and I'm likely going to eat all of those. And then I'm going to be heading into town to uh, see some friends that I haven't seen in a while. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. I will see you next time. Take care.